Hello and welcome back. One of the most used and needed workflows throughout all organizations is the document review and approval workflow, where documents start out in a draft state and then they go through review and then final approval. It's really easy to create this workflow in M-Files, and it saves staff loads of time since they don't have to hassle with the messy process of emailing attachments back and forth and creating multiple versions of the same document. So, are you ready to dive in? Let's get to it! For most workflows, you first have to create the workflow states, then the transitions, and then it's all about actions. So let's add all the needed states for a review and approval workflow. Once we have the states, we can start configuring the workflow. And we'll start that by drawing the transitions between the workflow states. In this review and approval workflow, we'll go from draft to review and then to approval. Now that we have the transitions and Mfals now understands the workflow sequence, we can now configure the actions or what happens at different workflow stages. Let's start with the draft state. In the draft state, our users need to be able to add reviewers and approvers on the metadata card. So let's add the set properties action. There we go. Now we need to set up an assignment action so that the indicated reviewers and approvers will get the assignment when the document is sent out for review and approval. You can use assign to user if the assignee just needs to do what they need to do and move the document forward in the workflow. But in this case, we will use the separate assignment because we are creating an approval workflow and we need an approval assignment. You can find a variety of different assignment classes and even create your own if you wish. The placeholders, the placeholders are a good thing to keep in mind. The placeholder selects the chosen metadata from the document and adds it to the assignment metadata card, like the name of the document we're using in this example. Since, since we are using the approval assignment here, we can draw another transition from the review state back to the draft. The function is that if the reviewers think the document needs to be refined, they can reject it, thus moving the document back to the draft. The transition can be left as is, so the reviewers can manually move the document back to the draft state, or we can add a trigger that will move the document automatically to the draft state once rejected. It makes sense to automate the transitions, just to make the process smoother. At this point, we create another assignment action for the approval state. Another thing that could be beneficial is to create a transition between the rejected state and the draft state. That'll automatically move the document back to the draft state if it gets rejected by the approvers. And of course, a notification should be sent to the document creator once it is approved or rejected.
Now let's save and hop to the mFALSE desktop to see the workflow in action. Everything seems to be in order. We get to choose the reviewers and approvers and move the document into the next state. Let's see this from the reviewers and approvers' perspectives. Another way of getting updates on the state of the document is to add the creator in the Monitored By field of the Assignment Metadata card. We can, we can now see, after the review, that the approval assignment has been automatically created and sent to the assignees via email. The notifications are also working as they should, so I would call this a great success. Now, this is a great way of getting your documents reviewed and approved without any extra hassle. Workflows are here to make your and your colleagues' processes smoother. There are plenty of great things you can do with the mFALSE admin tool, so be sure to follow me into the next video and I will show them to you. See you soon.